It's time to care about care, like the entire economy depends on it. Because it does. In the U.S. today, 33.6 million families have children under age 18. Fewer than one in three children have a full-time stay-at-home parent. There are 61 million adults with disabilities, injury, or illness that need care. Experts estimate that about 10,000 baby boomers turn 65 each day and will eventually require long-term care. The care economy is intersectional and intergenerational with ripple effects that stretch well beyond the care itself because it both creates jobs and makes all other work possible. Just like investments in other infrastructure projects like roads, bridges, and schools, investments in the care economy are investments in infrastructure that ensure everyone, children, families, employers, and communities can thrive. But the care economy is misunderstood, underfunded, and undervalued. Take jobs. Over 5 million Americans, mostly women of color and immigrant women, are employed in the care economy. The median pay is far below a living wage, so 40% of care economy workers must rely on public benefits to make ends meet. These caregiving jobs are also some of the least protected, often falling outside of our nation's labor laws. Those paid caregivers work alongside the over 53 million Americans who provide unpaid care to their loved ones. According to the AARP, the direct unpaid value of this work is $470 billion. Go deeper and you see how far the economic impacts of undervaluing care reach. Family caregivers lose $300,000 in individual income over their lifetimes, and working women lose more than $20 billion each year due to care responsibilities. And year-to-year -year shortfalls in income widen into massive wealth gaps over a lifetime. Undervaluing caregiving contributes to the racial and gender wealth gap. By the time they reach retirement age, non-white households have an average savings of $30,000, compared with $120,000 for white households. And female caregivers over 50 have 58% less retirement wealth than those who did not provide care. All of this is a drag on the economy overall and it makes us less economically resilient to things like the next pandemic. But imagine a publicly funded system that recognizes care as both an individual and social responsibility, values care workers and supports family members and friends to care for each other. This is a healthy care economy. It would have paid family and medical leave, access to affordable quality childcare, long-term services and support, and better wages and benefits for care workers who provide the services we all need. Now is the time to invest in America's care infrastructure that will not only overturn generations of systemic sexism and racism, but will build a healthy and resilient economy for us all. This is both a massive challenge and exciting opportunity for philanthropy to rise up and meet.